But other than that, it seemed like the 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 list of names on their teams lit, reads like a, the who's who of the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to an all new episode of On My Sports. It's your boy John Jay and with me as always is my dog, Big Money Sonny. Talk to him, Sonny. What's good, bro? What's up, bro? I'm happy to be here. Let's go up. Yes, sir. And it's, it's only up from here. Ladies and gentlemen, man, we got a hell of a sports week. It's going down. It went down and it's going down. But before we get into all of that... Please, please, please get down there and drop us a like, share, comment, subscribe, man. Let's like, like my man said, it's up from here, man. So, right, hate on it, whatever. You dig? But uh, man, in the in in the world of the NFL, man, week six <clears throat> just ended, and uh, we 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 finna recap what went down real quick before we get into you know to anything else. But uh, for yeah, starters, sure. man, we. Uh, did we jinx it last week? We asked which team would lose first between Philly and Frisco. Both of them go down. <laughs> Both of them. Damn. Hey, uh, you you know you being the resident 49ers fan, you feel any type of way? You worried about your squad, or you just like you know people got hurt? Uh, That's just nature. You know what? It's the NFL, and that any given Sunday thing is real. But you know what? We lost and props to Cleveland because before the game, I was looking at the stats and I was like, wait, we got the number one offense, but we only the number two. Oh, like only the number two. I was like, wait, I thought we was number one. Cleveland was number one. And I went into the game like, are you kidding me? They ain't better than us. But I was like, wait a minute. They they locked us up. We had that opening drive, went right down their throat, that scored, and then from there. It was a dog fight, bro. Let me tell you something, though. Props to uh, Cleveland. Shout out Cleveland. I don't want to take nothing away from them. But it never should have came. Did you watch the game? I did. Bro, okay. I'm going somewhere. Third and 10, fourth quarter. Cleveland's quarterback throws it to a receiver. He drops it. Gibson hits him with a shoulder and his neck snaps. He hits him with his shoulder, in his shoulder, his neck snaps. And I understand it's live motion, so they throw a flag. Unsportsmanlike conduct. That was fourth and ten. They get off the field, they never kick that field goal. And then we called a timeout, gave them time to look at it. They didn't even make it right. I was like, wow. It was crazy. So look, with all that being said, it's football. I was encouraged by this loss, bro, because my only knock on my team was Brock Purdy and his inexperience and how much success he's been having. You feel me? I I was like, you know what? What if we get in a game subconsciously? What if we get in one of those ugly games and it ain't, and it's not going so good and he's not passing for all these yards and we get the ball last. Can you go down here and put us in position to win the game? I always wondered that because we haven't seen that. He showed me he got it, bro. Yeah. I feel good. He Without Debo, without Christian McCaffrey, he drove down there, put us in position to win it. We just missed the kick, bro. Yeah, and I, I'm I, encouraged. I don't, I, I, I I know don't we think lost Moody. The game, but I don't think I Moody going to awesome keep missing that stuff. I know now Brock Purdy is that guy. Yeah, fact. Yeah, I mean it's football. You you know they you know what? Maybe maybe Kyle Shanahan could have ran another play because we had a t- we had a timeout. Maybe you get closer. You know what I'm saying? But that's a chip shot. That's a where we was at. That's a extra point. He should be able to make that. He yeah. was nine for nine. You, you expect him to until make that, that moment. Yeah, you expect him to make that. And hey, it just right. hey, it was Damn. a big moment for the rookie. But he's a rookie. He'll get it right. He'll get it right. Uh, I don't expect him to. to, to and it was a big again. moment for Brock because they uh, they yeah. shut Brock down, bro. The Browns shut him down the second half, 
And then he showed me on that last drive that he got it. He got something, bro. So I feel like when it comes down to it in the playoffs, if, if that happens again, we'll be all right, bro. I feel I, I feel good about it, for real. I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah. I know there's no no moral victories in football, but that that showed me something. Because that, that was my only worry. I was like, what if it don't go so sweet? And what if these plays ain't working this day? And what if... It comes down to I just need you to get down here and get us a field goal and let's get up out of here with the W. Could he yeah. do it? Because I never seen him face any adversity. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm happy with that, bro. That's a good point. He hasn't faced a lot, a lot of adversity. Um, so every chance he can get into these, but type he of did that day. Ooh, he faced it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so he's he definitely looking good. He he's living up to the expectations. So. He he saving them because it, it was looking bad, you know, um, with the whole Trey, Trey Lance saga. So it's a good thing that this worked out. Um, oh, it's man, working. Man, he glossed over that. They they candy painted over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 didn't happen. Trey who? <laughs> um. So uh, uh, I still aside, got the Trey area shirt, by the way. Hey, respect. <laughs> <laughs> so. Aside from those two guys going, I mean, those two teams going down, unfortunately, man, it, it's been a name of the game this season so far is injuries. More and more guys are going down, man. We we talked about Anthony Richardson a lot last week. And he's out for the season now, they're saying, or well, possibly. Um, Justin Fields got hurt. Um, this season, the man, injuries, man. His shoulder. You know? Yeah, yeah. Injuries have been hurting the game in a big way this yeah. season. But Try. hey, it's it is the game. It is the name of the game. Um the rookie from Miami, uh Devin A. Chain. Yeah, it's the nature of the beast, bro. Yeah. Just just yeah. when guys start rolling and you're starting to get a feel for games, yeah, yeah, he, guys, woo. they go down. It's like, oh woo. David Montgomery, he's gonna be out for a while. Um a lot of big names. Like, these Brother ain't Lawrence. no small names. Yeah. Like, sheesh, what is going on across the league? Justin yeah. Herbert. Justin Herbert's hurt, too. Yeah, he played with a broken finger. Um, I, I, Are we not getting enough milk in the NFL? <laughs> what is this? Is this these plant-based diets? What's going on, man? These bones yeah. got to get a little strong. Just, we need some, some football, milk. It's just football, bro. We need some milk endorsements in the league right now, man. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> but um, wow. in good news. Next man up. Yeah, it's the nature of the game. You're right. This is a gladiator sport. And, um, these things just happen. CMC, he goes down. Yeah. My fantasy team went from great to Ebo goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trent Williams goes down. Yeah, oh, that one! Happens, that bro. one! Look, that one looked like that one hurt too. Um, with big trip. yeah, it did. And and you know what? You just keep playing, bro. You just got to keep playing. We was right there. We still could have won the game. We should still be undefeated. Facts, facts. So, um, good news. Uh, some surprising news. The Washington Commanders, man, they offense has been up. They've been looking good, man. Shout out to Eric B. Enemy over there, man. He got them boys playing some ball. What you think about them boys? I don't know what I think about them, but I know they are playing good ball. And I only say I don't know what, what to think about them because of Dallas and Philly, respectively. I feel like it's it's one of their divisions. Yeah. I feel like um I feel like Washington could um they they're a good team. They got a good defense. I just feel like Dallas and Philly are uh, ahead of them in the division and I feel like I don't know what I think about them. But I feel like they'll play they play everybody hard and you you're not going to get an easy dub against them. They could beat you like for real. Yeah, so, I I don't think that they're a threat to win the division. Like you say it's a two team race. Um yeah. but Signs of life, man. I think they've passed up the Giants. Um, no doubt. I think the defense should be better. They're not, though. But that's, uh, yeah, they still got such – with that be, scary bro. front, they should be able to negate some of the deficiencies in the backfield. I mean, in, in the secondary. But 
Um, that rookie Emmanuel Forbes, he's been getting killed. But that that right. defensive front is so good. You would think that, that that defense would be a lot better. But shout out to the offense, man. Those those, those weapons are yeah. coming to play, and, and Sam Howell, Sam Howell is looking like the the one for yeah. the team. He got some. Sam got some. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and that's crazy. Like I like the offense, but the defense is underperforming. If they could, if they could step up, they could be a surprise for real. Yeah. So uh, they gotta get them, bro. Definitely some. Uh, they they definitely turning into a fun team to watch, and that's something that I don't, I can't in recent memory say that I have ever said about Washington. Uh, At I, all, I never gave a damn about Washington, but now they're interesting. But um, let's see what they look like when they play Philly and Dallas in that division. Facts, facts, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, on 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 the other side of things, someone who's a team that's not playing so good, I, and I got to talk about it, even though it hurts my heart. So. My Chicago Bears, man, it's looking bad for the squad, man. Right now, we sit, right now we looking at the number one and two picks in the draft this coming season, and that's okay. Yeah, it's not, but it, it it's a way to turn things around. Um, that's one good thing, you know. You say what you want about this team and how they how it was built, but Ryan Poles was playing chess out here. You know, he that was. That trading for that pick this year was a big money move. That was a boss move. Um, if it doesn't work out with Justin, you can replace him and still have the number two pick. Um, but I wanted to work with Justin, but it's, it, it feels like he's running out of time. The fact that we have these picks, if we if we end the season with picks one and two, they're going to get another quarterback. There's no way to justify it not taking mm. one. You know what I'm saying? As much as I hate to say it, like I said, I'm diehard Jay Fields fan. I want him to make it. But time is running out. We're a third of the way to third of the what season three, Caleb, man. But what if Caleb Williams isn't coming out? What if he goes back to USC? Well, maybe that changes things, but who is it? Maybe Drake they May? like y'all gonna take Drake May over mm-hmm. Justin Fields. Maybe. I mean. If you ask me, would I prefer to take Drake May over Fields? No. I want to see what Fields can do. I still believe in giving these guys time, but let's just look at the history of the game where it's been. Like, this isn't the organ this isn't the regime that drafted him. So they don't have necessarily that loyalty towards him. Of course, they want to see him win, but they looking at it as like, man, do I Stick it out with him, even though I'm not sure yet if he's the franchise guy, but it's it's getting ready to be time to pay him versus this number one pick that I that's set us the, up for and a rookie contract. And that's what you're saying the GM is thinking. That's what the GM's thinking? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's something to think about. Something to think about. He didn't draft. What about the ownership? What do they think? What, do, what does ownership want? They what does ownership want? Do they want Justin Fields or do they? They hands off. Oh. They hands off. They they brought in this new regime, and and this is the first year for the new president. Um, uh, he came from Ohio State in the Big Ten. Um, this is the same guy that brought the Pac-12 guys, the USC and UCLA, brought them to the Big Ten. That's the Bears president now. So. They hand the ownership is hands off. They just hired this guy in, so they finna see let him work, see how he managed this. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Um, it's tough. Again, it's hard to justify not taking a quarterback two years in a row with the number one pick, and if if you still have so many questions on your right on your current guy. I mean, I, I if. I had my wish Justin come back when he comes back healthy. He goes for 300 plus every game, 75 to 100 yards rushing every game, couple touchdowns, keep it going and 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 end the questioning, but so far each week more questions right. kind of arise. It's I I feel it's like It's tough for me, bro. I don't know what to really say. 
I feel like it's not on Justin. I feel like it's the inept coaching staff. I, I agree they don't too. know what they got and they don't know how to develop. They haven't developed them and they don't know how to put them in a system that plays to his strengths. I just don't like them. I feel like it's them. But it's your team, and I'm going to defer to you because you know. I mean, I don't really know. I'm in full but agreement. I would like to see. Is, I would like to see another you know, coaching staff, see what they could do, but it's the nature of the game. If you have the number one pick again, it is, though. Yeah. It you just is what it years. is. Like, yeah, it's, it's about three years. He's just a victim to the situation. That third year, they expect you to be. Yeah. If if by yeah. chance, let's just throw a hypothetical tough, out there. Man. Let's just throw a hypothetical out there. If if the Bears pick was like 10 to 13, this might be an easier thing. You know, you might not be able to replace Justin. But the fact that you are sitting there with potentially the number one and two pick, that's a game changer. <laughs> Oh, hey! If I if it was it if is. it was me, it is. It, and you know what? If I had a shot, I would love to say, "Hey, look, just get Justin Fields, Marvin Harrison, and give him that the the, the tackle out of Penn State, uh, Fashanu, and protect him." But it's, it's the nature of the game, man. Then you resetting the quarterback pay scale on your team instead. You know these guys getting thirty to sixty million a year. You you drop that, you roll that back and start over with a guy at about 10 to 15. Now you can spend that money and keep building out the yeah, rest of the squad. What? Like, this is what teams do. They, they, yeah, Ryan right, Poe set bro. himself up with a lottery ticket. I'm sold now. You just sold me on it. You just sold me on it. You know what, bro? I hope that they're that crazy and I hope they do that. You know why? I hope they get the number one and number two overall pick. I hope they give up on Justin Fields. I'm going somewhere. Follow me. I hope they give up on him. I hope they kill his value. And I hope the 49ers <laughs> double back <laughs> and scoop him and let him sit on the bench just in case Brock gets hurt again. And then when he gets in the driver's seat, of that Kyle Shanahan offense with all those weapons. Okay. I hope it goes down like that now. Uh, I, you, while I'm listening to you, I'm just my I'm hope. like, wow, you know what? <laughs> this might be how he comes on home. Come home, Justin. My Come my, home, my Justin. hope is that it, Come it, it that he comes back and goes lights out and ends the discussion. Um but hey, it just is what it is. The likelihood is now I want him. I the want likelihood him. You know is the fact is they might go start over, reset the board. But hopefully, if they go if they go that now. route, I hopefully hope he do. still has some value because nine times out of ten, I see, I see them trading him to like Atlanta home team, his home, and how good would he be oh, with that wow. squad? Yeah, if he goes to Atlanta, yeah. Put at him in there with Bijan and and Drake London and, and Kyle Pitts. Drake London, Ooh, Kyle Pitts, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, and, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give up on Justin. Go ahead, bro. I don't want to see it. I'm holding you down, we, Justin. We know, we, know. We, we, know Justin this, up. we know how this game is played, man. We know how to. I'm trying not to Let think Justin like a fan. You know, Atlanta, I've historically been labeled a homer. People think I'm a homer because you know. I, but I, I want to see Justin, but if I put myself in the mind of a GM, these are the type of moves they make. They don't fall in love with guys, especially if they're not the ones that they are. Them. So, yeah. I mean, that they just might be a like series of a unfortunate. Lot. They things. do. Yeah. You know, the, the, the yeah, background noise mistake. starts like, to get loud. Oof. So, I hope yeah, that it Yeah, and work then, out. like, you take Drake May. You end up taking Drake May and a, and a guard from Penn State. And Justin ends up going to Atlanta. And you turn Atlanta's franchise around, the Chicago Bears. Wow. <laughs> The Chicago Bears just turned around the Atlanta Falcons. Now, if it, yep. it, I, we if, see that happen, too, bro. If, it's, if it's me... 
If Caleb is there as an option, I would strongly consider it because he's that good. But Hell yeah. if it's Drake May, they may still strongly consider it. The kid looks good. I've been watching a lot of North Carolina trying to find a flaw in his game, and it's hard. <laughs> nah, Drake, Drake like, can play, He bro. looks legit. Yeah, and he go got, like, and watching him, he got a combination of, he got, he, he, he got, Kind of Justin Herbert arm talent, but he likes to get out and run like Josh Allen. Like he kind of has Herbert arm talent, but plays like Josh Allen. Like that's a hell of a combo. Um, but you know, North Carolina, the talent ain't the same. Hey, but Mitch, it's Mitch Trubisky came from North Carolina. Yeah, so it's a bad taste in the mouth. <laughs> but I mean, again, different. So that's what I'm saying. So Chicago's gonna get rid of Justin Fields and go to North Carolina route again. I'm hoping, yep, okay. I'm hoping not. <laughs> but where I was going with that is if that is, right. that it is Drake May, if Drake May is the top guy on the board because Caleb decided to go back to school, then me personally, um, I would say, no, let's just go left tackle, wide receiver. Let's just go ahead and shore it up for Justin. As each week passes, I'm getting more and more doubtful that that's how it plays out. I hope that he sticks around, though. Um, mm. Yeah. But we could talk about this subject all day, and I'm sure we're going to talk about it weekly. <laughs> it's definitely going to be one to Man, track. we should have did a whole show on this. Well, if you there, do a bear show, there's I still time. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time. I want to talk about. I want to talk more about this, bro. I, I didn't realize I had. A, I have a lot of opinions about this. I didn't even realize it. I mean, they just is, hit me like, this damn. Is, this, you know what? This ain't Wish even just because I'm, you know, a fan of the team. Like this is interesting football news. <laughs> like they should be better right now. No, it is. It is. It is. So, I mean, yeah. hey, but moving right along, because we still got a lot to get through. But uh, oh, and then you got you got guys that's coming in like this kid right here, C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud, man, he, he finally threw his first pick, but he got a win. He got Houston at 500. Yes. Yeah. They a game behind Jacksonville, man, man. They in this thing. You know, they, they there's it, they no question it. that he is their franchise quarterback. Now we talked about it last week. They they got a line that was built already. You know, but uh, <clears throat> fans in Chicago forget really quick. Are they just looking at like C.J. Stroud and they like, huh? see, you passed on him. <laughs> you passed on him. Well, C.J. didn't want to come here anyway because Justin is boy. But um. Right, CJ's looking so good, man. I'm a, such a fan of his game. He's so smooth. But the fact that now he's causing them to win games, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no out doubt. of all other rookie quarterbacks, he probably had the least amount of weapons, and he is making these guys legit. No doubt. The knock on him coming out of Ohio State was, oh, he had all these weapons that made him good. The weapons that he had, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Um, last season, you had um, Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson. He lost all of them, and he yeah. got a whole cast of misfits. Who was Tank Dale before this? Well, I knew who he was in Houston, but who was Nico Collins before this? I knew this? who he was. Like, yeah. <laughs> he is making these guys like this. We are witnessing something special. This kid is got the eye of the tiger. He is an elite talent. Uh, what you think? Just what you think about the work that he's been doing in the rookie season that he's having so far? I love it. Right now, at this point, he's the uh, offensive rookie of the year, without a doubt. Easy, without a doubt. Preseason, I I, I had thought it was going to be Bijan. But yeah, he's running away with it. He is running away. Uh, yeah, I I told Terry too. Me and Terry talked about this way before the season started, and I told him like, bro, 
Houston ain't that far away. Y'all, y'all right there. I know that's his hometown squad. I told him like, I don't know if it's this year, but maybe it's next year. Like, but I knew, like, I believed, I believe in D'Amico Ryan's. I believe oh. they, the coaching staff, they got over there to develop CJ and yeah. sky's the limit for them boys. Let's go. Yeah. Facts. Facts. So, yeah, I, I, I dig the way it's going down. The future's looking bright for that squad. Um, so with yeah. a third of the season now in the book, it's safe to buy a CJ. Yeah, oh yeah, it's it's definitely yeah. safe. Uh, I would even go so far as to say this kid might be a Pro Bowl in his rookie year. Um, it's not crazy to think Ooh. that. It's not crazy to think that because you got to remember too. Nah, for real. Um, of course you got your Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen's, and all of them. But whoever's playing in the big game, they're not playing in the Pro Bowl. Um. Well, actually, nobody is. Mm-hmm. Nobody is really playing. Now. It's just a naming thing. But he's got that ability. He's doing mm-hmm. that for them right now. But um, with a third of the season in the books, um, who do you think's been the most impressive to you so far in both the NFC and the AFC? And then also, two part question: Who do you think has separated themselves as a true contender? Um, which part you want first? Um, you can go with your, uh, your your most impressive NFC. Give me an NFC and an AFC. If you My want, if you want to think about it, I, I, if you want to think about it, I got I got a couple I can reel off. Um, if you want. Nah, nah. My I already. I look. I expected the 49ers and the Eagles to be what they are. My most impressive team is the Detroit Lions, believe it or not. I do believe it. That was going to be yeah, my team. Um, in they had, they, yeah, they went on that crazy run last year to end the season, and I thought it was just a crazy run. And then people was like, nah, they got something. I was like, it's still Detroit. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? You, but you're nah, waiting on bro, them to fall legit. flat. But yeah, they got it. Right, they yeah. They definitely got nah, something. they got something, bro. Yeah, they shut down all that old Baker Maker. I was like, yeah, no, nah, he's not Maker. No, he yeah. wasn't Maker. They Detroit shut that. They ended real. that. They ended that Maker run real quick. <laughs> they they almost sent them to his Maker. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was gonna mention Detroit also, but uh, I got a couple more. But I'll let you go and real. Yeah, my AFC. um. <clears throat> Yeah, my AFC, my most, my biggest surprise is the Miami Dolphins. Like, wow, you know what I'm saying? They fixed that line, and yes. man, they they're off and running. Them boys, man, I respect the hell out of them. Like for real, and they doing all of this without Jalen Ramsey. Like we forgot they got Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, bro. right. Wow, wait till wait till Jalen Ramsey gets back, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, Miami. I'm I'm really surprised with Miami, for real. I agree with you. And be, before you get into the second part, the uh, contender, let me go and drop mine. Um, you actually, I those were both of my two teams that I was going to rock with, Detroit and Miami. But um, <laughs> that's okay. Because on the flip side, my others, because there's, there's a couple of them. And in the AFC, I, I just mentioned them, Houston. Um, they 500, they a game behind Jacksonville, they in this thing. Uh, that's, they legit in this thing. So that's probably my biggest surprise out Yeah, I'm uh, glad that out in the well. AFC. That's, that's, they, that, that has been a press, impressive, the performance that the rookie has been doing. He is leading the way. Um, and then in the NFC, uh, another team we mentioned earlier, like I said, uh, the most impressive to me has been the Lions. But just beyond that – so far at this point, I would probably have to say Washington. Yeah, Washington has okay. impressed me. Uh, uh, aside from Detroit, Washington has impressed me the most in the NFC. And most of these other teams, it was kind of expected. Um, I expected Washington to be the bottom of the barrel in that division, and that has easily gone to the Giants now. Um. So yeah, I I would say Washington and um and uh, Houston both sitting at three and three right now. But um, so who do you think has separated themselves 
as real contenders. Throughout the whole league or just the NFC, AFC? Whole league. Whole league. You yeah, could get, if you got just one team, if you got a couple you want to shout out. But ain't no more undefeateds now, so, you know. Uh, the 49ers, the Eagles, the Dolphins, they separated themselves from everybody. I want to yeah. say Baltimore. But they winning, but not know, looking good still- while they're winning. Like Baltimore, they sit right. at four and two, yeah, but it's not. Baltimore. It's kind of like Minnesota's last year. Yeah, how they started off, like you never really was impressed. Their record was wonderful, but it was like yeah. they should be losing. Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. I want to say Kansas City, but I don't know because. I'm su- I'm super surprised by their defense, but the offense, the, the receivers, my gosh, they're horrendous. Yeah. And um, I just don't know. Like it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I was still. I don't trust KT. I don't yeah. Trust. <laughs> I was still put KC up there. Um, you know they what four and yeah, one, five and one right now. Um. So I mean they they, they look good, but like they're they not running away with it. But the defense is making it is making up the difference for KC. So I think you could put them in there, and Detroit, Detroit, you got to put them in there. They are legit NFC. Yeah, Detroit's up title Detroit's contender. Legit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah. they can. I mean, we haven't Detroit's seen them play there. against the top tier teams just yet. Well, we saw KC that was right out the seat, right out the gate, but. That'd be KC, yeah. First game of the season, always, it can go either way. But, yeah, the Lions, they look... Yeah, no Travis Kelsey, too. Yeah. yeah. So, legit, it's hard though. to say yeah. that that was a real, real, real test against that version of KC, but... Right. It was still KC, nonetheless. So, you got to give them love. They got, what, one or two picks mm-hmm. on Mahomes when he never threw one in September? Like, so, it still matters. So I think yeah. they've separated themselves in the e- yeah. in the NFC. Them they they up there with. Right now, I kind of got to put them up there with. No, I don't think I want to put them with Philly and San Fran just yet. But they. No, nah, you have to. Though. I do see them they're over. There, yeah, I do think there. I like them a little bit better than the Cowboys at this point. So yeah, I kind of guess I got to. Um. Yeah, you got to put them up yeah. there. That's what I was going to say. They, they seem like Philly a little Detroit. bit better than Dallas. Yeah. San Fran, Philly, Detroit, Dallas, and the It's NFC. just they so much younger, you don't trust them as much yet because they haven't proven nothing. But Yeah, Jared Goff, though, like he at least but got they to can do it. Ball. Like, they money right now. <laughs> like, what the talent that they have Man, is yeah. legit. And like you said, Goff has been to a Super Bowl. So. He's been to a Super Bowl. He knows what it takes. Um, Dan Campbell's coaching them boys up. Yeah. They dangerous, bro. Defense yeah. is playing better than expected. I yeah. thought that was going to be their biggest weakness was the defense, and they, they've they been balling. Their front seven is legit. That secondary is to be had against the better teams, but they can beat up on everybody else, though. But they're legit. Every team got holes. You can poke holes in every team, but, yeah, Detroit's up there, bro. Yeah, I got them up there with everybody. Yeah. No doubt. And I just, I just mentioned the Cowboys. Um, shout out to them, man. With a, a big bounce back win against the Chargers on Monday night. Um, Got to show them some love. That was they, they got the win against the old OC, Kellen Moore. You know, that was like Kellen Moore Super Bowl. And, hey, they got the last laugh. I'm still not a fan of, uh, of, uh, of, of the head coach, uh, Mr. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike McCarthy's yeah, trash. I'm not a fan. I don't like. I don't like him. God, I, don't, I don't like him. And you know what, bro? The Chargers. The Chargers are gonna be. The Chargers are gonna charge her. And what? What I mean by that is like I knew. Like, see, look, we we want to give the Cowboys love. I don't want to seem like I'm hating on the Cowboys, but I saw this coming because of who the Chargers are. You know what I'm saying? And who the Cowboys are too. Like what we saw last week is who they are. And what we saw this week from the Cowboys is who they are. And what I mean by that is 
for years now. When they come up against the the big boys, they get beat up. But the mediocre mid teams, oh, they they can beat them. And one thing about the Chargers is, I don't know if you know, since last season, they got nine losses by three points or less. So I saw this coming. The Chargers are going to charge her. And that's Brandon Staley, bro. He's a yeah. trash head coach. And you know what? I wish that Sean Payton would have just stayed at Fox one more year because they're going to get rid of Brandon Staley. <laughs> and he wouldn't be in Denver. He would be with Justin Herbert in L.A. That's a better fit. But that's a whole other story for another day. My goodness. But, yeah. So, yeah, it was, a you know, you bounce back and you got to stack these wins. And it was a good win. But I still look at Dallas like they are who I thought they were. They could beat those teams all day, for real. But the the big boy teams, I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of see Dallas as a, a real good, like a, a tier two team. I, I I would love to put them in tier one. It's just always the big game. They seem to fall short, and they don't seem to be able to beat San Fran. So it's hard for me to put them in the same tier with them. And it's um, not even San Fran. It's not even just them. It's like all the they got some good games coming up. Watch them lose all of them. I mean, they gonna <laughs> always play Philly tough. I, I look at their schedule every year is five hundred. They yeah. gonna go one and one. Um, but. Yeah, they just saying they can't. They can't do nothing with Frisco. Oh, any like regular season, like they can beat just about anybody. Um, and I think they're gonna have another great record again this year. Oh yeah, but yeah. It's just in the playoffs, when things get tough and serious, it just they they, they <laughs> seem to fold. You know, haven't been able to come. I, I I don't know if it's just the lack of the aggressive play calling or what it is. I'm not going to sit and point fingers right now, but. It's personnel. Something just ain't quite. It's coaching. It's the personnel. It's the culture. It's everything, bro. Like for real. Like it, we'll see. Like you know, we can we can talk about this ad nauseum. But yeah, come playoff time, we'll be doing the show and we'll we'll discuss this same topic again. Watch. Yeah, fact. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, but I, I do expect them to have a great regular season record. Um, oh yeah, I, I see them going like twelve and five, something like that. Yeah, maybe even better. Um, maybe thirteen, 13 and four. And four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was they last year? Twelve and five. Yeah, you see, they always got a good record, bro. Yeah, was it twelve and five or was it thirteen? And four? No, the Eagles was thirteen, right? The Eagles is like fifteen and two, something like that. So they might have been thirteen. They was like something like that, thirteen and four, twelve yeah. and five, somewhere in there. They was like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. So moving along to some, uh, this is a few games to watch this week, week seven. Um, this Thursday night should be a good one. Jacksonville at New Orleans. That that should be an interesting mm-hmm. one. Um. Mm-hmm. But then, oh boy, we in for a treat on Fox. And I hated this. That game is so early, but I mean, you're not going to take over the Sunday night game. The Monday night mm. game, they probably could have took, but I'm talking about yeah. Detroit at Baltimore. Man. That's a 12 o'clock game. That is a game to watch. I, I that should have been Sunday night. I'm with yeah. you. That should have been Sunday night but, game. But see, Sunday night, I'm glad you said that. Sunday night is Miami at Philly. So I get you can't replace that one. You have one to let that ride. One of those should have been Sunday. One of those should have been Monday. You have to let right. that ride. I think it should have been Monday. Y'all it up Monday. Flexed. The Niners they are playing Monday, San but they Francisco. going against the Vikings. Like Yes. San Fran, Minnesota could have been high noon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Them two could have been swapped. Because, yeah, yeah. This, Detroit and Baltimore needs to be prime time. The world yeah. needs to see what Detroit is doing. Right, and, they ain't getting the national love that they yeah, should get. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's and the I don't like game Detroit, of the week. Bro, I don't like the Detroit Lions. I'm not a fan of them. Love the city, but not the uh, team. But I got to give them some love, man. They they deserve like prime time slot for real. 
Yeah, hopefully, that's, just hopefully that's a game of the week, though. Bro, we just watched the Chargers on Monday night. We could watch Detroit. Come on in. We're about to watch the Vikings on Monday night. Exactly, <laughs> man. Um, But, hey, they was coming off a big season, so everybody right. thought they was going to be better, I'm assuming. Um, But, yeah, um, aside from that... Pittsburgh at the Rams. That should be interesting. No doubt. Uh, and the Chargers at the Chiefs. That's always um, a good one. That's yeah. always a good game for real. Absolutely, absolutely. That game. So, yeah, though, you know, there's more games on the schedule, but those are the games I'm most looking forward to seeing on, on this weekend. Um, no doubt. So, it should be a fun week seven. A lot to talk about next week, but. You know what time is, man. Next week, man, the NBA is back. Officially on Tuesday, mm. we got hoops. So what we going to mm. do here, man, we going to get into this NBA regular season preview. We going to break down each one of these here divisions. Um, mm. We going to break down the teams and the divisions, and then we going to pick our division winners. Um, so... We ain't gonna, we're going to try not to take too long on these individual team breakdowns, but definitely a lot to talk about. And before we get into that, I want to make mention, uh, there's a new rule change uh, in the NBA. Uh, teams get two challenges, but you have to have a timeout available to use that second one. So that should be interesting. Um, maybe the NFL can can look to that can adopt that part of it. I like the sound of that. You got to have a timeout to use that second one. We ain't finna just right. extend time like that. So I dig that. Right. And and mm-hmm. one thing, I neg- and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to get into the, this preview in just a second, but I neglected to mention uh, in the NFL talk, just uh, some weird news. Um, on Monday night, uh got a message that Leonard Fournette was supposed to have been visiting the Buffalo Bills, and I'm thinking to myself, that that seems like a good marriage for both sides. And yes. liter- literally the next morning, uh, yeah, he won't be going to Buffalo. That deal's dead. I just wonder what the hell happened. <laughs> Did he go in there and pull a James Hart? Yeah, I'm finna rush for the run. I'm finna go for the rushing title this year. You know what? <laughs> nope, I don't want it. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope, bye bye. <laughs> was it fat for that? Did he come in there like big? Yeah. Like, man, or did he like, realize, you know what? It's cold as fuck in Buffalo. You know, you know, no, never mind. <laughs> hey, and you know what? Did you see the breaking news? Philly just signed. Ah, uh, Julio. Yeah, I did. Julio Jones. I did. Bro. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, should be interesting. But yeah, on, on to the hoops, man. On to the hoops, man. We gave NFL is just due. But so yeah, let's go ahead and get into these here divisions. Starting with the Atlantic Division. The Atlantic Division consists of your Boston Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers, New York Knicks, uh, Brooklyn Nets, and Toronto Raptors. So uh man, just a quick little breakdown of these teams, man. Boston. Boston made some major moves this offseason, man. They brought in KP, but I think they lost a lot of depth as well. What what you think about these these, these uh, Celtics? I like the roster moves. I like how they look, but the depth is going to be crazy. No Brogdon, no um, Williams, no, no Grant Williams. Robert Williams. Both of the Williams. Both of the Williams boys. That's what I'm talking about. No Marcus Smart. Man, that's going to be tough. Yeah, you but rely I like, on a lot I, of minutes I, from them kid, from Tatum and Brown. Yeah, with all the money. Yeah, all the money they're making. Yeah, play every minute. That's real. They win the division. Yeah, hey, as a matter of fact, how you read it off, I think that's how the, that's how the division goes. Boston, Philly. Yeah, I, uh, I got to agree with you. But I just, I still want to get into yeah. these teams a little bit before we give our official division winners. But uh, I got you. I'm with you on that one. That one is just – it's just out there. Like, hey, pick me. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, Porzingis, if he can stay healthy, 
this this can get this team could be scary, legit. Yeah. Um. And can you can you answer something for me? Explain something. Like explain the logic behind that. Why would you get rid of Marcus Smart for Porzingis for the you know for the novices out there that don't really know the game? Break it down for me. Giannis. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, right size was their biggest deficiency. Um, no doubt. No. I love, uh, but I thought they gave up a whole lot. But size, Robert Williams was their biggest guy. And he only like sixteen. Right. Um, Are we gonna get twenty point for Zingas? 20 points per game for Zingas. Man, if, 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 if you get if you got if you get last season's Washington Wizards for Zingas, you're looking good. Yeah. He had a, right. a nice bounce back year. Yeah. And, and this is a situation where you're the third scorer, you know. Um you'll be looked at to play some defense, but you're not looked at to be a savior. Right. Um, so you can kind of get in and you can get buckets with this squad, man. But um, those two stars are going to be playing a lot of minutes. Um, man, yeah. That depth. That Hopefully depth is definitely started. gone. They had a lot of yeah, guard it, depth, it, and now it's gone. It's just yeah, white. Yeah, because if people start getting hurt, it's going to be crazy. Like, hopefully they stay injury-free this year. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I love yeah. the Drew Holiday pickup, though. Oh, um, my gosh. That was, to me, that was a... That was a better replacement than Marcus Smart. Like, Marcus Smart might be a little bit tougher, maybe. But overall, Drew Holiday is a better player. Drew a dog. Yeah, he's better than Marcus Smart. I'm not even questioning that so at that, all. That was a, I think they upgraded at all the positions. They just gave up depth to do so. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Porzingis, I think, is an upgrade over Robert Williams. Um, no doubt. But you lost the depth of Grant Williams for it. Um, mm -hmm. Same thing right. with Marcus Smart. Drew Holiday is an upgrade over Marcus Smart, but you lost the depth of Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon, oh man, you know. So you got to how you look at it. They still got White there, though, right? <laughs> they got White and they got Peyton Pritchard, the shooter. Pritchard. But other than that, it yeah. seemed like the 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 list of names on their teams lit, reads like a, the who's who of the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> After you get past the, the, the starters, uh, throw in Al Horford, Luke Cornette, you know who he is, but he honestly oh, lead, yeah. leading the charge at the Y. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Luke Cornette grabbing everybody bags. He's big enough. Um, oh, but then moving on to Sixers. The, the Sixers, I like the way the team is built, but there's the uncertainty of the James Harden situation. Yeah, and like... I still wouldn't be surprised if he's gone by the time the season starts on Tuesday. It wouldn't surprise yeah, me one bit. because he keeps saying stuff. He just keeps saying it so casually, like, man. But I I, I like... The, this team still has some good depth. Um, they added Mo Bamba and Kelly Oubre to what no was doubt. already a solid squad. So even if you do move on from James Harden, if you if the Clippers were the team and you got back a Norman Powell, maybe a Terrence Mann, I think Ooh. that's gonna make him better. Um, and you put all those guards around Joel and Pete. Yeah, and I need Harden. I, I I need them to get rid of Harden so Maxi can breathe this year. I need Maxi to go crazy this year, and Philly will be fine. They'll be just fine. Yeah, so they, they might end up getting better if they trade Harden. Yeah, and I like the Nick Nurse thing. I, I like love it. Love that. To me, that was the win of the coaches this year. And I love Doc Rivers, but they needed a new voice. That's real. Yeah. Um Nick Nurse had Toronto playing lights out. Uh, even when Kawhi left, it was like, How is this team still good? Yeah, right. Um, shout out to Nick Nurse. So uh, yeah, I, that was the best coaching hire to me. Um, Even over money to yeah. the D. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, money to me was in the best position. I like how it worked out for Monty, but as far as the team, Nick Nurse was the best coach, in my opinion. No doubt. 
Um, but Monty, it worked out for him because one, he go to a team that's a, a young, up and coming rebuilding team, which means ownership is gonna be a little bit more patient. You know, he gonna see all that seventy mil he got. Like he got the bag. I, I, was it seven? I think it was seventy. It was a crazy amount that Monty got. He got the bag, and that's a young team that he can just go over there and like teach. It's a great situation for him. They'll love okay. him in Detroit because they ain't had shit. Straight up. Um, now, the New York Knicks, I know some people specifically that's going to hate my take on this, but I'm sorry they went backwards. I think they went backwards. This yeah, who's going to hate that? Um, Whoever's hating that is one of those those bing bong, diehard bing bong. Fans. <laughs> right, because this team definitely, bro, anytime you got the starting five for the Villanova Wildcats in the NBA. You took a step, two, three, four steps back. I'm with you on that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. I like Jalen Brunson. I like Josh Hart. But yeah, you got. I you don't brought like in. You brought in Divincenzo. Like you say, you brought in that. You got that whole Villanova squad. Why? For what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> for what? To do what? What are you doing? What oh, are we doing? For real, Archie Diacono. Well, they gave. They lost. They let go of Obi Toppin. Um, yeah, shout out Obi. He went to Indiana. Yeah, and I. Oh, just oh. When I get to Indiana, oh. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I think they regressed this year. So I'm sorry, Knicks fans, but um, I don't think y'all make the playoffs. Bing bong. Ooh. Hot take. Man. Um, Man. Now I'm going with the Brooklyn Nets. And this team, you know, a year ago, the world was <laughs> – was, was ex- the expectation for the Nets, you know? They had high hopes. And now they turned into a team of just guys, but okay guys. I feel like this team is the definition of average. But Legit. that in that, they could still be an eight to ten team. Seed wise. They could still compete for play in, maybe eight seed, maybe. Um, no big time guys, but just a bunch of middle of the road guys. You know, they gonna win some games they shouldn't. They gonna lose some games they should win. Um, but they might be a forty one and forty one team. Like I see this as the middle. What you think about this? This is I know this one of your squads. What you think? Yeah, it's, it hurts me to think about like what could have been. My gosh, <laughs> for real, like, but yeah, you hit it right on the, you hit the, man, oh my gosh, bro, it's just a bunch of guys, like, no stars, just Malcolm Brogdon, yeah. I mean, what's his name? Uh, Mikhail what's Bridges. Name? What's his name? Mikhail Bridges. Mikhail Bridges, Ben Simmons, and Dim Witty, Cam, Cam Thomas. Thomas. I like Cam Thomas, but yeah, you got just a lot of just guys. Nobody special. There. Dennis yeah, Smith, just... Darius Baisley, Lonnie Walker. They got yeah. some good young guys, but they just got a lot of yeah. fitting in, filling a role. I feel I like mean, they're a lottery team. This is probably Ben Simmons' best shot is to lottery regain to regain some semblance of respect. Cause his expectations on this team gonna be low, so he can, you know. Uh, let's see. Ben, ben will bounce back. I feel like I'm predicting to have a bounce back. He got some decent He'll enough shooters shoot. around him where he can get some assists. He won't have to put up shots as long as he gets back to being a defender. That's the biggest thing. Get at least get back to defense. That was you were one of the best That's defenders the in the thing. league. You you would be willing to turn the other cheek. When you shoot the ball, as long as you playing defense like you have been playing previously, but I think that comes with health too. Defense, rebounding, assist. Yeah, yeah. But um, and then last but not least in this division, we got the Toronto Raptors, who we mentioned they lost a head coach Nick Nurse, they lost um Fred VanVleet. 
so they have leaked. But they didn't like they. It was kind of like, and this was a question I had from this team last year when they made the move to bring in um, the big man, um, Yaka Pertl. When they made the move to bring in Yaka Pertl last year, I said on on the show it was called on my hoops at the time, but I said I didn't understand it. I was like, y'all in the in between phase. Are you finna spend some money to compete? Or are you going to rebuild and go get some picks? So you let Fred Van Vliet Ooh. walk, signals rebuild. But then you bring in this big guy. Actually, you brought in the big guy first, Yaka Pertle, and then you paid him. But then you let your starting point guard go. So it's like, what are, you, what are we doing? Are we just sitting? We just middled out. Um so I'm not understanding some of the moves that they made. Like, if you're going to rebuild, rebuild. Let OG and I don't know, be walk. Yaka Pertle could have walked. Um, build around Scotty Barnes. If that's the move you're going to make. It feels like they haven't picked a direction yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, they double agent, playing both sides. Maybe we can win, but if not, maybe we can flip it real quick. Boom. So, and I just, I don't really understand what they're doing. Um... If they do decide to rebuild, though, they can get a mint for Siakam, and they can get a lot for yeah. Anobi as well. Yeah, but everybody pick wants pick a route, pick a route. If you're gonna compete, compete. You should have brought, you should have paid Van Vliet if you're gonna compete. I mean, they replaced right. him with Dennis Schroeder. Why? Um, but no, he was all right, but he's nowhere. He's not Van Vliet. Um. So yeah, we we let that one off. We already mentioned our our. Picks for the winner in that division is Boston. I think Boston is going to win that division. Um, yeah. But I'm also watching to see what happens with James Harden. It, it may Close change it. things, but it might, bro. Yeah, just because of the depth, they have more depth in Philly, but they got better stars in Boston. So it depends on what happens with this trade. But I think it's going to still be Boston. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's move on down to the Central Division. We're going to run down each one of these teams, then we're going to give our division winners. Um, we And it's starting with Milwaukee Bucks. And I know some of these, it seems like I'm reading the names based off of who you think going to win the division, but it's because I'm going off of the last season standing. So, you know. Um, but the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, love, love, love their offseason. Um, of course, they got some young guys from last year that I, uh, like Marjan Bochamp. I want to see him develop in year two. Um, Ty Ty Washington um, was yeah. a good young point guard out of Kentucky that kind of got moves. He started off with Houston, but I think this guy's got a little something. He's definitely fast. Um, no doubt. And then they got the ageless one, Drew Timmy. <laughs> Hey, from Gonzaga. I swear that boy look like he's about 40 years old. Tabai. Right. <laughs> we but all, we all know that that an impact, though. That's, that's such a Milwaukee type of a player, though. You know? For real. For it's real. So, it's money. Like, they know how yeah. to pick him. That's, that, he's yeah. going to fit. How did it seem him, like I knew? Him and Bobby Portis would that, piss everybody off. I knew off. he would end up in Milwaukee. I don't know how I knew it, but I was like, he's a Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to absolutely hate him. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Because <laughs> of the Bulls thing, but it Me was too, the bro. perfect move. Uh, him and Bobby Portis are going to piss so many teams off. But then uh, they brought in Malik Beasley. And then we Good. talked about uh, campaign a couple weeks ago. Where did he go? That's where he went. He they got campaign. Um, Milwaukee. Yeah, when he got cut, he went and signed there. <laughs> yes, they got. I ain't even gonna cap. I didn't know that. They have That's crazy. A will. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, they got so campaign, champagne, campaign, backing up Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they got a Ooh. squad, man. Same. They got a squad. And, of course, you know, Middleton, Connington, all those guys, Brooke Lopez, Robin Lopez, the Giannis brothers. I like the I Robin mean, Lopez. Identical Bull brothers. That's a squad. Yeah, what, why is he this still on the roster? He got to go. Because he's, he's an Antetokounmpo. 
Yeah, as long as Giannis, as long as Giannis is there, he ain't going nowhere. I'm glad they let Robin come. Shout out Robin. Hey, you gonna let my brother come? You gonna, you gonna let his brother come? You gotta let my brother come back. I mean, at least his brother can play legit. Yeah, contribute. He so will that, contribute. That's a team, man. They got. They didn't really give up much in the Dame Lillard trade, so they still got depth to go along with those. Oh, they stars. loaded. Yeah, they loaded. loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, when I said, uh, what was it, a week or two ago, when I said that I think they gonna be the highest scoring team. I'm, yeah, I feel like that. That's legit, I feel, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel you standing on that. That's real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so then there's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, now they didn't do a whole lot off season wise, but they did spend some money to bring in Max Struess. Um, yeah, good pick that up. Be a good piece. Yeah, that should be a really good piece. Uh, and I, I think we, you and I both, you and I both are fans of Imani Bates. Man, uh, shout out! Steal of the draft. Steal of the draft. I think. Wee, I couldn't wait for you to bring that up, bro. Yeah, That's man. He Steel. fits so perfectly right there. He fits right there, perfect. I hate it. <laughs> the steal. Yes. Ooh. Come on, Bulls. Y'all was BSing on that one. Yeah, that. Yeah, the Cleveland Cavaliers, bro. That so, for them continuity. Is everything. I'm expecting big things from them. Yeah. Like for real. Max Strauss was a really good pickup. Yeah, I don't expect them to win the Eastern Conference, but I expect them to compete and be right there. Like for real. Yeah. I mean, that team can be really nice, bro. You look at that roster on paper. That's a nice roster. Bro. I want to see a cons- a full consistent season from Darius Garland. He kind of tapered too. off a little bit late, kind of regressed he to did. Donovan he Mitchell. Did, like, but you yeah. should stud up because it's you and Mitchell. Like you are just as deadly in that backcourt as Donovan. You can be. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, bro. This Cleveland squad is so nice. I know somewhere. In the back of LeBron's mind, he wish he could get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how nice they are. Insert LeBron into that squad, bro. It'd be crazy. Oh yeah, no God. doubt. Well, he got he he got Ooh. something to play with too, and we'll get to them in a little bit. But oh man. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, uh, and then of course the time has come to get into these guys, um, Chicago Bulls, and man, this this is a tough one. Because, once again, it's, I, I don't know if I'm being Homer, J.J., <laughs> if I'm being realistic, J.J. Right. But I think this team is a little bit better than last year. They didn't make a whole lot of moves. Um, they didn't have a lot of money to play with. They had to re-sign their own guys. But the the, the additions were kind of low-key good. I liked Torrey Craig. It was Love a it. good pickup, a really good pickup. And Javon Carter was a really good pickup. Hometown guy. Came from Home Milwaukee. Hometown. Um, yep. Julian Phillips, a guy they drafted in the second round. Um, I I didn't watch him a lot in Tennessee in college. But in the summer league and in the preseason, this kid has been kind of impressive. He's Man, got, nah, I, I'm he got I don't know. Um, yeah, he kind of yeah. feel like they let Derrick Jones Jr. walk, and he kind of feels like a perfect replacement. Um, I watched forty three inch bro. vertical, man. Forty three yeah, exactly. inch vertical, like the kid, yeah. the kid. Mm. He got some highlights. Nah, he got actually. something, bro. He got something. This yeah. he might be a dunk contest competitor. Um, yeah. And Kobe White is moved into the starting lineup now. Uh, I like that. I like that for him. Uh. So I, I think this team is a little bit better than last year, and here and here's a signing that they made, and it kind of slipped through the cracks. I, I don't know if it's just for camp or if it's for the season. I'm kind of hoping it's for the season, but I'm looking at the roster, and this got past me. I don't even know how. But on Monday it says they signed Derek Favors. Wow. I didn't know that either. I kind of slipped through the cracks. They signed on 10-16-23. Come on. That was, yes, that was Monday. So, 
I like that. I don't know if that's just for camp or not, but they need some size. So I what is love what, what, that what kind of contract was it? I, I'm just uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm on the NBA website and just uh, I'm looking at the roster and it has a section on how they were acquired and it mm-hmm. says signed on ten sixteen twenty three. So okay, I like that for them. Um, but yeah, for this team, it was just continuity. You still got the whole Lonzo Ball injury. You don't know when he's coming back, but he seems to be in good spirits. He seems to he keeps telling everybody that listen that he's coming back. So. Get well, Lonzo. We need Lonzo. Man. We do in the worst way. Uh, he Bro, changes crazy, everything for that team. I thought last year that they was a top four seed in the East before any games got played on paper. Maybe I, that's just I had my expectations were too high, but yeah, yeah, I had expectations on them at least improving on the year prior. Yeah. Um. It's but I crazy. do think they'll be a little bit better than last year. I think they can still get into the playoffs. They will compete for it. But that division, their division is getting tougher. It's tough, and, uh, bro. And uh, the team we getting into next, uh, starting to slow down a little bit, my system. But uh, I believe the Pacers are next on the list. Oh, this thing is moving slow now. Okay, yep, the Pacers are next on the list, and boy, 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 I got some high expectations for the Pacers. They they, 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 they had a nice summer. Um, they added OB Toppin. Um, I like the rookie, the pickup, the, the, the draft pick in Jer- Jairus Walker, um, but he healed his back after all of the trade talk. Him and Miles Turner, they're back. Um, <laughs> yeah. They brought in Bruce Brown. That was mm. a great pickup. Bruce great Brown and Obi Toppin gonna fit good there. I think yeah, uh, Obi Toppin, you got a legit point guard, and Halliburton is gonna get you the rock. Uh, Benedict Matherin um, had a real strong rookie campaign, and he's only gonna get better. I think that yeah, dude, he's, he's got star bro. potential. He is gonna be a yeah. dog. Uh, yeah. Andrew Nimhart, I think, is solid. TJ McConnell, yeah. I can't stand him, but he's good. He's good. <laughs> uh, Big Jalen Smith, uh, he never really got a chance to shine in Phoenix. But right. I like this kid coming out of Maryland. I think he's got something, and he might have a chance over there. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Tice. Uh, I like this coach. I mean, I like this squad, man. Uh, coached by Rick Carlisle. OG Rick, man. OG Championship Rick. coach, man. He know what's up. Yeah, man. Yeah, the Pacers are all- on or something. The Pacers is – I. Yeah, bro. You know what? Uh, I like. The, I don't. I. I was never an Indiana Pacer fan growing up. But yeah. I, yeah, I like this squad. How it's built, and yeah, they're gonna do some damage, bro. It's crazy. I yeah, like them. I agree. Yeah. So uh, next up, the last team in this division, we talk. We're gonna talk about is the. Detroit basketball. That was for Jalen Rose. Uh, but the Detroit Pistons, man. Um, first up, I love the rookie. Uh, they got Os- uh, Osara Thomas, the twin, Thompson. Osara, oh, man. I love this kid a lot. I think he's yes. got star potential. Yeah, um, him and his brother. I like both of them. Yeah, buddy. Um, now, Cade Cunningham, man, we haven't had, really had a chance to see him with a healthy, have a healthy season yet. But yeah. if they could put it together, these, these are some, these are going to be some fun, flashy guards with him, James yeah, Ivey, like and Osar. Jane Ivey. Ooh, I like yeah, that squad. Yeah, man. Um, Jalen Duran. Um, Wiseman and Giant, over there. James Wiseman, and that, that that's an interesting one because Duran to me was having a real strong rookie campaign as the center. Then they traded and brought in Wiseman, and both of my centers. So, are you gonna move Duran to the power or who comes off the bench? Because both of these kids, to me, are future top ten to fifteen centers, probably top ten centers yeah. future. Yeah. Um, 
So, I feel like Golden State gave up on Wiseman too early. I one hundred percent agree. I one hundred percent agree. I feel like everybody's giving them a pass, but I feel like they completely butchered the draft and the chance that yeah. they had to rebuild. They had all those I lottery said again, picks. Bob Myers, he fumbled that one. Yeah, yeah, he had all those lottery picks, and Jordan Poole and James Wiseman are elsewhere, and y'all wow. just left it to uh, Dunley V. Like here, here you go. He ain't had nothing. He couldn't do nothing but resign the old guys. Like, please come back, please, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, and they got Joe Harris over there too. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Joe yeah, Joe Harris, Marvin Bagley, Bogjan, Bojan Bogdanovic. They got some decent players over there in Detroit, and now they got your coach, Monty. So yeah, Monty, man. They get that. The Central Division has gotten better. Um, yeah, a lot better. Bulls are in some trouble. I'm not even going. I, I, hate, even cap. I hate to hear that too. I Damn. can't even cap. Uh, anytime you worried about the potential of the Pacers and the Pistons, trouble yeah. brewing. <laughs> 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 so uh, division winner. I think we both in agreement on this one. Uh, Milwaukee. You agree with that? Yeah, I think Milwaukee I runs away with this one. Cleveland is the second, but I, I, I think Milwaukee um, easily, easily. Southeast division, the last division in the Eastern Conference, starting off with the defending Eastern Conference champions, Miami Heat. Mm. Um, Got to get a Heat some love, although they 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 lost a lot. Yeah, they lost, <laughs> yeah, they lost Struess. They lost. Damn. Who else did they lose? Um, I forgot. But I Oops. like this. They lost the kid to the Lakers. The one that went to the Lakers. I can't remember his name. Shooter Vincent. Yeah, Troy Vincent. Vincent. Troy yeah. Vincent. Troy Vincent. Yeah. Gabe. Gabe. Gabe Vincent. Vincent. You're right. I remember that. They did lose. That hurt big time. That hurt, the Lakers bro. got picked up a lot. But yeah, um, did. I do. I don't know. I kind of like the rookie they got, uh, Jaime, um, Jaime Hakez. 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 Ooh, yeah, I like UCLA, him. I love dude. I like game. him. Yeah, he's um, nice, bro. Yeah, he fit the heat culture perfect. Yeah, yeah. he looked like he was born for my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, like you said, man, they lost a lot, man. They yeah, they lost a lot. Bro. They were man. really banking on the Dane trade, and without that happening. <laughs> And they kind of alienated Tyler Hero because I keep hearing them take subtle jabs at the front office. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think they, they kind of I can't wait regress. to see what they look like. I, I really got my eye on them. I wonder what they're going to look like this year. I'm watching them. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Butler is one of my favorite players, so I'm always going to watch him. Yeah. But I do think they're they kind of regressing this year. Jimmy um, Butler is like Michael Jordan's son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What yeah. his kids should have been. Right, exactly. That's <laughs> what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I feel you on that one. Yeah. But um, after that, we got the Atlanta Hawks, man. And Atlanta Hawks, I feel like this is a team that's underachieved. Right. Uh, they've been underachieving it, with that backcourt of Trey Young and DeJounte, DeJounte Murray. They should be going. Bananas. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like they're going to do something this year. Not in that major, but they get back to their winning ways this year. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I don't mean like conference championship like they did, but I mean like in the thick of it, you know. Yeah, you know, just playing. back to compete. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they did lose um, John Collins. John Collins to Utah. Um, but they are they got some good young players. I like the Jalen Johnson kid, um like and, and, and uh AJ Griffin, you know, coach's yep. son. Oh, no and we didn't mention Milwaukee. His father is coaching Milwaukee. Um no AJ Griffin Sr. So shout out to them. Um they got the other Bogdanovich over there. Hopefully DeAndre Hunter can stay healthy. I love the, the Sadiq Bay pickup for them last season. Man. I thought, I thought uh Golden State Again, F that up. 
Because they, because <laughs> they made it was a three team deal. They traded Wiseman for Sadiq Bay and then flipped him for Peyton. Right. I like Peyton, but if you're gonna give up Wiseman, Sadiq Bay, I think you should have kept him. I they could live him. with that. He's still young. Yeah. He fits the rebuild. <laughs> Yeah. And he shoots just like the rest of that team. He would fit perfect. I, yeah, I didn't understand that. That's what I, I was head scratcher, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was like, and that team, and and uh, Atlanta brought in Patty Mills as well. So no this doubt. team can shoot. If anything yeah. else, they can shoot. Um, yeah, they got shooters, no doubt. Uh, I, and, and I like the rookie out of Michigan too, Kobe Buffkin. I watched him a little bit last season. Yeah, no doubt he could play. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it, that team is going to be interesting to watch. Just will they continue to underachieve, or you know, they got the, the coach that came from Utah, um, late in the season last year. Um, he'll get a chance to Quinn Snyder, he'll he'll get a chance to coach them for the full season. And I, I do like Quinn Snyder, um, yeah, I think he'll be all right. So, moving along, um. The Washington Wizards, and we already talked earlier about how they lost Kristaps Porzingis, uh, but they did bring in Jordan Poole, uh, Landry Shamit, Kyle Kuzma got his money, uh, and they oh, that Danilo Gallinari was in that trade. I forgot about that, uh, but I, I don't really see much moving for this team. I think uh, Jordan Poole is going to have a big year. He's going to have all the shots. Him and Kyle <laughs> Kuzma, him and Kyle Kuzma is going it's going to be a lot of tomfoolery going on. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but they're going to they put up great numbers. Both of those guys. Somebody 20, said that. 20 plus. Yeah, somebody said your boy Jordan Poole was going to go James Harden in Houston take every shot. It's yeah. possible. So, I can see him doing that. I can definitely yeah. see him doing that. And they got some baddies out there in Washington, so he's going to be... 30. Let yeah, he going to 30. He going to average 30 this year. <laughs> yeah, average 30 this year. So, <laughs> oh, so yeah, Pool. I don't expect anything from Washington, but Pool and Kuzma, they're going to have the most fun out of anybody this season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no structure. They just gonna be over there playing wreck ball. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. And then we got the Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic, this is a team that's just like a serial lottery team. That's it. <laughs> uh, uh they got a lot of lottery players on this team, some good young players, but they don't have that guy yet. Right. Uh, so I still I don't think they're st- they're a playoff team yet. They got some good players. I love Jonathan Isaac if he can stay healthy. I love Jalen Suggs if he can stay healthy. Um, yeah. Paolo Bancaro, to me, yeah. he re- he is he reminds me so much of just a bigger mellow. Yeah, I love sure. his game, uh, and I I, I, I like I Wagner see him too. See him. Who? Mo Wagner. Yes, yes. Mo Wagner yeah. and Franz Wagner, yeah. both of them. Yeah. Markel yeah. Fultz, if he could stay healthy, I like him. Yeah. Markel, um, no doubt. Wendell Carter, you know, former Bull. Uh, he's been solid for them. Cole Anthony. It's just health. If these guys could stay healthy, they'll be all right. But they don't have a true leader yet. Right. So yeah. I, they're not quite ready to win just yet. But they, they are, they're going to be fun to watch. No doubt. So I am yeah. keeping my eye on the Magic. Yeah, they'll run with you. They long. They got length. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I I I wish Bobo would have stayed around there. Um, right. But it was, you know, with them being so young, with so many young players, it was hard to find the right minutes for him anyway. And he'll get a chance to shine on a team with superstars. He going to get seen. Um. Last but not least in this division, the Charlotte Hornets. And Melo is back healthy. They had the number two pick, Brandon Miller, who I'm a fan of. No doubt. Um, but it, it kind of stalls out there. I like Mark Williams. Uh, I like him a lot, actually. I think he's a good shot blocker. I like Scary Terry. No doubt. 
But Miles Bridges has got to be the biggest disappointment. Um, you should he be an ex player to- right now, but right. you can't stay out of your own damn way. Yeah, he just had to turn himself into authorities too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like, come on, your dumb ass <clears throat> went back. Come on, man. Like, why? Why? Why are we not learning? Um, because you're not a good rapper. Don't think that that's gonna be your backup career. At all. <laughs> And speaking of rapping, what's up with Kai Jones? He left. He wow. got on the roster. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, <laughs> and I thought we had high expectations for that kid, man. He was I saw him in coming Mello out of Texas and like he yeah. was six eleven with a kind of a Lamar Odom type of game. Like I, I thought that would have been money. Was it was yeah, just should have been. Him, yeah. Melo, PJ Washington. Yeah, I thought my yeah. yeah. I thought was- and another name on that team that I thought was going to turn into something that still hasn't done anything is Book Knight. <sighs> Remember, how we we had our high hopes for Book Knight. Hopefully, he can yeah. still put it together. He's still young. Yeah, he let me down last year. He can hopefully he can bounce back this year. That's real. Yeah, but I I, I think this is still a lottery team. Uh, if if Miles Bridges was right. Then the sky's the limit for this squad, but they they still not they're not close yet, in my opinion. Can't trust Gordon Hayward. He's a good player, but he can't stay healthy anymore since that knee injury. Um, and yeah, uh, Melo is fun to watch though. He's box office, but out of that division, I think it comes down to Miami and Atlanta. Even though Miami regressed, it's just a bad division, one of the worst in the league. Um, so who you got winning that one? I I I almost kind of want to lean towards ATL. Yeah, I want to give it to Atlanta. I think Atlanta wins. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I got a yeah. I think ATL wins the Southeast Division. Uh, I'm moving along. Uh, ooh, we've been going. This has been a long stream, so we're gonna try to speed. I'm gonna try to speed through these a little bit faster. But we're going out yeah. west now, the Northwest Division. Starting with wow. the defending champions, the Denver Nuggets. They lost Bruce Brown, which hurts. Um, a man put up 20 a game in the finals. They needed his his buckets. But I still yeah. think that this team is going to be down there in that final four. Like, they, they still. Oh, yeah. Bro, they still Denver. Man. Yeah, they still it. legit. They, had, yeah. they got Reggie Jackson. Um, yeah. But uh, Michael Porter Jr. has to get back to the version of Michael Porter we fell in love with two, three years ago. He got to take a couple steps forward. Yeah, his development. He's got to be... Yeah, I, man. Dare yeah, I say yeah. awesome. For them to repeat, he's yeah. got to be what we expected him to be. Yeah, yeah he should be an all-star right now. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like for the, he got to put up at least 18 a night. For them to repeat. At least I was gonna say twenty. That's real, yeah. I'm so, trying to be nice. <laughs> he can't yeah, do twenty. He's, he yeah, he's be too good, 20, bro. I'll he's give him too eighteen. Good. Um, he's too good. That's I think that young kid Christian Brown is gonna take some 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 buckets. Ooh, I love Christian Brown, bro. KU, shout out KU. Yeah, oh yeah, you know yeah. That, I know that's your school. That's your school. So, yeah, yeah shout this out. is a champion, bro. Champion at KU, champion in Denver. Yeah, they straight, bro. Denver gonna be there in the end. Yeah, and an, another team that had a good season last year that I think will improve this year just because of another year of continuity is the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, the Gobert <laughs> trade looked horrible last season. I think it. I think this year it looks a little bit better. Um, right. As long uh, you got Cat is healthy now. Hopefully he stays that way. But if Cat is healthy, I think him and Rudy they they start to you know boss up as a pair as a as a big man tandem. Uh, I love Ant Edwards. He's probably one of my favorite young players. And they sleep on the kill Alexander Walker, man. That boy got a torch. Yeah, yeah. for real. I like Jaden McDaniels as well. Um, and they brought in Shake Middleton. Um, solid team. Um, but I think just, just by Cat being healthy by default makes them a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he can remain that way. Um, yeah, they'll be decent. Yep. 
Yeah, uh, I'm expecting to see a little bit more development from Ant Edwards. He's he going. He's a star. Um, no I, I had a rant last year when they was advertising an Ant Man movie and didn't use Ant Man in the NBA commercials. Like, come on, y'all, y'all really jagged that opportunity. Yeah, they they dropped the ball on that. <laughs> on that. Damn, he did get a shoe deal in off season. I think he got a shoe deal. I don't know if it was Jordan or not. I want to um, say Team Jordan. <clears throat> But, Anthony uh, Edwards? Yeah, he got a show deal with somebody. I forgot who. I gotta look that up. But Bro, his game reminds me of Jordan, young Jordan. And that's why I kinda wanna say Jordan. He seems like yeah. the perfect team Jordan yeah. um player. Mm-hmm. But um and I'm 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 trying to look up while I'm talking. But one of my favorite teams, um Oh, Adidas. He's with Adidas, but 2023 is the first year he's going to be wearing his signature shoe. So he got his own signature with Adidas now. Um, But, uh, man, this is, this is going to be one of my favorite teams to talk about this season. I'm going to be watching a lot of them. The Oklahoma City Thunder, bro. Man. Shaji. Shaji is the budding superstar. Josh Giddy. Is is he finna have a hell of a level up? Um, we we talked about both of them, Jalen Williams' kids, but Chet Chet Holmgren is is, is a game changer, man. It, it, that's a do it all, man. Like seven, he listed at seven one. He really about seven two. He bringing the ball up. He shooting. He crossover cutting. Do it all. Shot blocking. That man, Chet's that guy. Yeah, that's fun to watch. That's, that's, that, this team is box office, man. Lou Dort. Um, uh, Osme Jane. Solid. Uh, just a bunch of good young talent on this team. They don't have that. And that, I saw they traded. Grizzly vet, but Shay's, Shay G played. He, yeah. he, he been on some teams with some vets. I saw they traded. Didn't they trade Victor Oladipo and them for Kevin Porter Jr.? Yes, but I believe that it's like it's trade though, and right? cut. Yeah, they just getting the picks out of it. It's crazy, though, because they said the girl at court today said that he didn't do nothing. Really? Yeah, so it's crazy. Like, why would you just cut him? Like, That'd they should be interesting to see how that play out. He's got a history, though. They probably just yeah, didn't want to do it. They already got a young team. They already yeah. got a young team. They probably didn't want no volatility yeah, they there. Don't want like, nah, that's they the ain't culture, fucking man. up our culture. Right, and they yeah. also got Davis Bertans there, big man that could shoot. I like that for that team. No doubt. Yeah, that um, team's interesting, bro. Yeah, I, I I like this team a lot. I'm gonna be watching them. It's just a fun team to to to, to watch. Um, and then we got Jesus. This is getting slower and slower. It's like it don't like the time of day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we got. The Utah Jazz, who impressed, um, surprised a lot of team, a lot of people last year. A lot of people teams thought that they was gonna be the worst team and was gonna be in the running for uh, Vic Dub. But Laurie Marketing said, "Nope." He started turning into a star on their ass, man. Man, Laurie, man. Colin Sexton, Taylor Horton Tucker, uh, John Collins. We talked about Welker Kessler is a very underrated rookie, real good. Shot blocker, uh, Kelly Olynyk, uh, Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. They got a good young team over there, man. They gonna They got Ochai, Baji. Yeah, yeah they, another one of your they, Kansas boys. Yeah, they straight over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Juice it's Yeah. Yeah. So that that's a fun team to watch, man. I, I until okay. last year, I never gave a damn about a Utah game, even when they had Mitchell and Gobert. Mm-hmm. Last year though, they were fun to watch. I liked them. They ball. Shout out Lori, bro. We should have gave. We should have kept Lori. I Chicago. agree. We should have, but they Man. they messed that up when they drafted Pat Will. No doubt. No doubt. 
I, 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 and I've mentioned it a few times, but to me, that was the biggest mistake they made, that organization made. Um, well, the, the current regime, they they reached for Pat Will, and I like Pat Will, but he shouldn't have been the number four pick. Everybody was screaming for Halliburton, and they right. overthought oh. it. They over, The point guard was the biggest need. This was before Lonzo, and they overthought it. They reached on potential instead of the, the talent that was right there in front of you. If you would have drafted Halliburton, you would have kept Laurie. You still could have got um, Vooch if you wanted to. You still could have got DeRozan. You wouldn't have had to got to get Melo. I mean Lonzo. So that money could have been reallocated elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but think about that, man. You could have had a starting lineup today of Halliburton, Levine, DeRozan, Laurie, and Vooch. That team fucking with anybody if they did that. But that that one move reaching in the draft to get Pat Williams through all of it all. They sat Lori and started Pat. Lori like the hell? I don't want to come back. Right. Do you blame Damn. him? Nah. <laughs> so they they that to me was the mess up. I, I, this season, this off season, they did the best of what they had to work with, but no doubt. I the heat that I have for them came from that because we could have been a dominant team if you would have did that. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, we talked about the Jazz, and then last but not least in this division is the Portland Trail Blazers. We know they they traded away Dame, but they got some good young pieces. Um, Ooh, I'm not man. mad at what they did in that trade. Um, Scoot, yeah. Scoot is that dude. Who's that guy? Um. Anthony Simons gonna get a chance to shine. He's gonna get a lot of a lot of shots. A lot He's taking of shots. every shot down there. Every Shade shot. Sharp. I, I hope to see him develop. Um yeah. and Aiden. I like Aiden there. With Robert Williams. Man, you play on both side by side. Uh I would like I don't they I don't know if they're gonna bring Williams off the bench, but I wouldn't mind just going double big on them. You know, with those guards they got, just give me size. Yeah. Um and you're going to need a defender like Robert Williams anyway. Malcolm yep. Brogdon, like, I like the young pieces that they got. Um, record-wise, they're going to be bad. But <laughs> they still got some good pieces to build for the future. And the guard play is going to be fun over there. Kevin Knox. Uh, well, he was there last year, I believe. But young team. Um, Scoot is going to be the show, though. No but out of that division, I would have to say, dang, low back up. <laughs> so slow. But I would have to give it to, come on now, um, the defending champs. Oh, no. I think the defending champs win a division once again. Yeah, um, me too. But OKC and Minnesota, I think, are playoff teams, and Utah going to be threatening for it. That's going to be a fun division. But I think this this division right here, best division in the game, the Pacific Division. Sacramento Kings, Phoenix Suns, L.A. Clippers, Golden State Warriors, L.A. Lakers, man. Those Kings, they did what they did last year. Do you think they – Stay, stand pat. Do you think they, they 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 do it again this year? It's tough. I want to say yeah, but I'm thinking like if Zion and them is healthy, everybody if else OKC, got better. Yeah, if OKC is what you really think they are, like where do they fit? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be tough. Yeah. That West, well, just the division itself, though. Just the division itself, not the whole West. <laughs> but you know, they don't have. They ain't got to com- contend with uh. New Orleans and uh, OKC in that particular division, but right, no doubt. That's gonna be a hard one to win. I don't know if they can win that one again, just because all of the moves the Lakers made and the moves the Suns made. But the issue is health. Like, yeah. if the Suns, like I think this the Suns team, I love everything that they did, but I worry about the health. And if they don't, <clears throat> if they're not healthy. And you can say the same thing with the Lakers, LeBron and AD. 
Yeah. The Kings could repeat and win the division again. It wouldn't be that surprising. Like, are they the best team in the division? No, I don't think so. But they're young and healthy. The Warriors, the Clippers, the Suns, the Lakers all have teams with injury problems. Right. But if Phoenix stays healthy, woo, if Phoenix stays yeah. healthy, they're the chosen ones, I think, in that division. Um, yeah, just the, oh, I love man. everything the Lakers did, though. I do too. I but just that. real quick, I got because I got the Phoenix roster up. So, yeah. man, uh, Josh Okoge, he was there last year, but I, I like him for that team. Nice little defensive yeah. player. Uh, it's three and D. Yeah, Grayson Allen. I can't stand Grayson Allen, but he's good for them. It was, was a good, good move in that though. trade. That yeah. uh, Damian Lee, uh, Bowl Bowl, oh Bowl Bowl. Yeah. I think that was a great pickup for them. Uh, Watanabe. I know you mentioned him last time we talked. Azubuki. Yeah. That was a good yeah. one. Eric Gordon, Nas Little. They got Azubuki. Yeah. Yusuf Nurkic. They got. Man, they got some talent over there. Some real Dang. serious talent. Yeah. Dang, man. They're a problem. It's just, can they stay healthy? If they can stay healthy, they, they are a problem for everybody. Um, And then next up, we got uh, more loading time. Um, <laughs> spinning wheel. Yeah, this thing was flying early. It just started slowing down. I don't know. I probably got too much tech logged into the internet right now. But um, uh, after Phoenix, we got the LA Clippers. And again, health. Uh, I really love this team. I love the day. Uh, I love that Russ went back. I love everything about this team except for the injury history. Right. Uh, I like Kevin Martin Jr. Kenya Martin Jr. there. I like um Bones Highland. I thought that was a great spot. Mm-hmm. Um and, you know the Morris twin, he's over there still. Um Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann, Norman Powell, Robert Covington, mm-hmm. Nicholas Batum, Zubach, Plumley. Like they got a squad that mm-hmm. just helped. Everybody's there still except Eric Gordon, right? He went to Phoenix. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. Bro, if they can somehow get... I need James Harden on that team. Yep. Just to muck it up. Yeah, if I'm I can get Harden. That. I'm with you, and I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I'm almost expecting it. Yeah. Um. So that should be interesting. And then, hey, those Golden State Warriors, man. And the move they made to bring in Chris Paul. Mm. I'm going to defer to you. I'm curious. What do you think... Is the outcome for this squad with Chris Paul? Do they find a way to make that work, or do they regress? Nah, it, it's gonna work, but it's health. What? What is he? How many games are you getting from him? How many games is Chris Paul gonna give you? And when is he gonna give them to you? Because he's gonna get hurt. Yeah, he will get hurt. But when does he get hurt? Is it at the beginning of the season? He misses a lot, or is it? Does he play a lot? in the beginning and it, is he hurt at the end? Like, which one is it? But if he's there for the playoff run, man, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they, I expect Golden State to be Golden State, bro. I'll I, I tell you what I do like about Chris Paul being there, and that's, yeah. he, he has a great history with young players. Um, if you bring him off the bench and let him lead that second unit with Moody and Kaminga, um, I like him helping them develop. Yeah, you know he did it. He did it in OKC. He did it, and all his stops, he's had some young players that he's helped yeah. along the way. Yeah, um, he's the boys. He'll he, get the he's boys put going. Phoenix in the running. Um, yeah, yeah. Love him or hate him, he does great for youngsters. Um, yeah, I feel like Golden State's gonna be right there, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as they can stay healthy, um, and they added Dario Sarge too. That's a good one. Mm. Um, and then, of course, man, those vaunted L.A. Lakers, man, they put in some work this off season, man. Hey, Christian <laughs> Wood, um, man. Uh, Vince gave Vincent. Um, come on, come on, stop creeping. 
They 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 put in some major work this off season. Um, a yeah, lot of people, a lot of people talked about the moves that they made. Cam Reddish, I like that. Max Christie, um, Jackson Hayes. That was one I was I couldn't think of. I like Jackson Ooh, Hayes a lot. That right there, bro. Watch a that whole lot for me. Christian Wood, like he's gonna be on the bench like Mo Bamba. He never get in the game. Jackson Hayes, man, because he could run the floor. Like a yes. gazelle, like they always like to say, but he runs that flow and he can block some shots. He, LeBron gonna love playing with him because he gonna run with him. Yeah, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that team. Um, so, yeah. who do you got winning that division? <laughs> the toughest division. That's the best division in the league, man. I, I'm. You know what? I gotta say, Phoenix. I think because, you know, not to get too far ahead of myself, but I feel like Devin Booker probably wins the MVP this year. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like that. Um, I, and and we, I, I had a section where I wanted to talk about um, awards, but we might not have enough time for that. So, I think I, I think my MVP, it might go back to the Joker Um just because team they wanted to give it to him last year, but they didn't want to give him three years in a row, so they had to get to Joel. But then right, after, then he, after he won the chip, they like, no, we got to give it back to the Joel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. So I think he's already got it as long as he stays healthy. <laughs> as long um, as he plays and does what he does, he is MVP. And, right. I, and I want to pick. I want to pick the Suns. I, it's just hard for me to just expect health from them. Right. So, nah, it, and it is, bro. I, it's just wishful thinking. I want them to be what they supposed to be. I want that to work so bad for KD. Yeah. So I'm riding with them. Because of that unassurity from all those to actually really the Lakers too. I want to pick the Lakers. But that LeBron A D go down, same situation. <laughs> right. You know what? I'm gonna ride with the Suns. I'm not gonna pick based off of I think somebody's gonna be hurt. I'm riding with the Suns. Right. Uh and in the very last division before we get out of here, the Southwest Division. Memphis Grizzlies, New Orleans Pelicans, New Orleans Pelicans, Dallas Mavericks, Houston Rockets, San Antonio Spurs. Uh the Grizzlies, they brought in a couple guards. Derek Rose, Marcus Smart, you mentioned earlier. Um What's your expectation for this team? You know, Jaws on that 25 game suspension to start the season. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Clark will be back, right? Yeah. And everybody got paid. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Clark will be back. Uh, what's the Aussie's name? My guy. We used to play with KD and them. Um, oh, just... Steven Adams. Yeah, oh yeah, he Bro, was hurt I, a lot yeah, last. He missed like a lot of Jai, games last year. Yeah, I feel like when Ja gets back, I feel like this is a uh, nobody's really talking about him. I feel like they're gonna be right there. You are gonna have to deal with them, bro. You are gonna have to Absolutely. deal with them in the West. Absolutely. Yeah, people, people like take. I feel like they're taking the Memphis Grizzlies for granted, bro. And ain't nobody really talking about them and giving them they do. But and, and they've proved they, they can win. Out. They can win without yeah. Ja. Um, they I think can win they, without they can him. stay exactly. afloat for those 25 games. Exactly. And then when he comes back, if he's raging and he's focused and he's and he's going attacking the basket, that job, yeah, look out for them, bro. They can beat anybody. Any of them top teams we were just talking about, if they right. happen to run up against a healthy Memphis Grizzly squad, look out. They don't upset alert. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Um, then next up, we got New Orleans. New Orleans, they didn't do a whole lot off season wise, but it's just it's, it's about Zion. Is yeah, he that's right it. now he's playing, so he's starting the season healthy again. Let's see if he can finish the season. If but that's that's healthy, it. Bro. That's the end all be all. Zion. Yeah, if he if he's there, they they legit, bro. Yeah, they, if he's there, the they got a really good team. If he's not, yeah. then they got a really average team. <laughs> right. Um, it's all Zion. That's that's one player that will make or break that team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hoping for health, though. Uh, it, 
it is a huge disservice to the league all the time he's missing. We need to see Zion. Okay. Zion is one of the most exciting players that we've ever seen. Man, yeah. Um, so hopefully he can just make it through the season healthy. Uh, next up, another team who I really, really love every stage of of the offseason, every the moves that they made from the draft to free agency, trades, everything. Dallas Mavericks, man. I love the offseason that Dallas Mavericks had. Um, love it. Uh, Derek Lively, I liked him out of Duke. Uh, a, a, another tall, lanky shot blocker. This team were, was at their best when Tyson Chandler uh, manned, the in, manned the middle. And hey, this is and another that's type crazy. of guy like that. that. That's crazy. You said that they got Tyson mentoring them and coaching them up. I like that. There you go. Uh, uh, Rashawn Holmes, big move. Seth Curry, big move. Resigning yep. Kyrie, get him in here happy. No complaints. <laughs> him and Luca, get to work early. Good move. Derrick Jones Jr., good move. Markeith Morris. Yep. I yep. love with this team. The Grant Williams. Yeah. Uh, and I think Jaden Hardy is going to develop into a killer off the bench. Man, that's nice. Yeah, they, yeah, the Mavericks, man. Look out for the Mavericks, yeah. bro. I love what they did. I think they had a really great offseason. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, the uh, Houston Rockets. This is a team, they they, they spent some money, but they, they still just, they're young. Um, yeah, I'm- Jalen Green, you mentioned earlier, they they let go of Kevin Porter Jr. and that was somebody who got a lot of buckets for that team. So how right. do they replace it? Dylan Brooks, not really a scorer. No. Um, Fred Van Vliet gave him a lot of money. He's gonna probably have to up his scoring average. Mm-hmm. Um, but they got that dude. Probably one of my favorite rookies. Uh, aside from you. Know, the well-known Vic Doves and the Scoops, but Amen, Amen, Touch, Preach, Tabernacle. You gonna <laughs> hear all of these comments for Amen, the yeah. hand, the praying hands, everything. But he's a star. This kid is a star. Uh, him and Jalen Green. As long as Jalen Green get off of that freaky stuff, he be on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he a little bit goofy. Play ball, Jalen. You but, uh, good. They got some good young pieces. Jabari Smith. I want to see him put on a little bit more weight, but I like him a lot. Tyree Eason has got such a smooth game. He underrated. I like the Rockets. I like the young Rockets, man. Yeah, they brought in Reggie Bullock. I love Singoon. I like this they team. Get man. They get They could somehow land a superstar. They'd be right there. They got Boban, uh, mm-hmm. Jeff Green. I like this team, man. Um, they're still young. They're not close to the playoffs yet, but right. like you said, if they can land a big name, which they thought they was going to get in James Harden until he walked in there and said, I think I want to win a scoring title. Uh, eh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, uh, yeah, some good young players. And then last but not least, the team. It's funny. I mentioned them last, but they got the number one pick. And one of the guys – that everybody is probably most looking forward to watching play. Um, Vic Dub, those San Antonio Spurs, man. Um, I think this is going to be a team where wins are still going to be a little bit hard to come by, but they're heading in the right direction. It got so many shooters. Like, this is a decent team for Vic Dub to be around. And right. You say what you want about Pop. Not the biggest fan. Like the NBA is kind of passing him by. But one thing Pop knows is how to coach a big man. Um. So in that regard, I think Vic is in a good spot. Uh, but I like Kelvin and Johnson. They got Devonte Graham over there. Jeremy Sochan, nice defensive player. Blake Wesley, I like. Chetty, they got Chetty, uh, from Cleveland. Um. Devin Vassell, I like him. Kim Birch is a solid big man that came from Toronto. Uh, the other Jones, Trey Jones. You got some decent players over there. But uh, they're going to be a lottery team again this year. No doubt. So, yeah, for that division, who do you see winning? It's tough. I want to say Dallas, but... Damn. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Dallas. I'm, I'm right there with you. Uh, I got Dallas. Um, I like the Grizzlies, but I think Dallas. They, uh, like I said, I like everything that they did, and as long as Luca can be healthy, he's got help now. Um, I, so I want to see what a full season of him and Kyrie can do. I think that's right. money. That's money. Yeah. So I'm yeah. with you. Uh, I, I I did want to do some playoff seed projections, but it, it's a bit late now. We'll get into that maybe next week. Uh, we got plenty of time for that. But uh. Yeah, man, it's been dope, man. I know it was a long episode. And if y'all rock with us this long, please, I, first off, thank you. I appreciate you. But uh, please, drop a like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, did you like our takes on this? Or you got something different for us? Come at us. Get at me, bro. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Big Money Sunny, man. As always, man, this has been dope, man. I certainly appreciate you, you know, talking to talk with me. Already, bro. Anytime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, on that note, that's a wrap from us here at On My Sports. Love you.